Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Parlay Revival. Before we start this episode, we are going to do the draw to pull two names out of our Excel spreadsheet to see who of our Patreons is gonna come through the Panama Canal with us in just under two weeks. So 66 of our Patreons said that they would fly down to Panama for this event. So their names are all in the draw here. And without further ado, let's draw two numbers. So I've got this um, Google number generator here. You press generate and it just gives me a few random numbers. So we'll do this twice read the names out, and then we'll be in touch to get you down here in the next two weeks. Right, so the first winner is... Drum roll. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Number 53, hey. which is Vince White. Vince White. Vince White, oh, everyone, everyone remember that, number 53. Okay, and the other winner is... 46. Evan Baguette. They're gonna be coming down with their partners, their wives, their husbands, their sons, daughters, whoever they want. Two people are coming down per Patreon and we'll be seeing you in two weeks. So we're gonna surprise them with a video call. Evan! Oh. Hey, hey! Congratulations! You got me in my makeup clothes right now. <laughs> Congratulations, buddy. I'll, um, I'll message you all the details now. Sounds good. You're available? You're ready to go? Um, I'm available. I gotta sort out with my wife. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you all the details and we'll see if we can make it happen. Awesome. Congratulations, buddy. Thanks. See you, mate. <laughs> Bye. So Vince just reached out the other winner. We're gonna give him a quick little video call here. Oh. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Congratulations, brother! <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm shaking, man. We're so we're super stoked, bro. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, message you now with all the details. Awesome, guys. Congrats, man. Right. See you, buddy. See you soon. We'll be seeing you in two weeks. Thank you so much. Let's roll the intro. Hurricane Irma toss. Here we are at this marina. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a hurricane damaged Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? Well, Merry Christmas everyone. Um, I know that might be a little bit strange because our videos are about six to eight weeks behind real time, but um, that's just the way it is, guys. We've got too much footage to get through and we can't quite catch up, but it is Christmas day here. Everyone's super excited. As you can see, Parlay is in the water. If you missed that episode, scroll back one or two and watch the splash episode. Um, today, we are going to a beach called Playa Blanca. It's about six miles down the coast from where we are here in Linton Bay. And we're gonna have a little beach barbecue. The reason this is quite important for us is because it's we're gonna be sailing down there and then on the way back, we're gonna be smashing into the, into the wind and waves. And that's a good little test because tomorrow night we're going to Sandblast Islands, which is gonna be motoring straight into the wind and the waves for like 10 to 12 hours. So that's the plan. I hope everyone had a good Christmas because we are about to really let our hair down. Let's go! Okay, so the wind is really strong. Once I get out like that, the wind is gonna be pushing on my bow and it's gonna to wanna to smash us into the dock. So I'm gonna to have to pull off and then hold on to that until the last minute and then re just release it. That's why we've slipped it like that. Thanks Ben, that was good. Watch the bow, see that? Woo! You see, once the wind catches the bow, it just wants to throw us into all of those boats. It's probably about 15 knots right now. It's a real shame that Sylvia can't be here, but yesterday the family received incredible news about the brother who was in hospital. So um, they said it was the best Christmas gift they could have received. So I feel happy for the family at least. 
boat ready for sailing, basically. Let's clear the water is. Yep, yep. This sail is brought to you by Balboa. Balboa. Mm -hmm. both off so we're running purely off lithium batteries and our solar panels which are all really shaded right now <laughs> <laughs> every single one cool we're doing 5.2 knots downwind heading towards Playa Blanca you have to be safe Linda just in case now you let's go to swim Linda <laughs> We go to the water. Oh, Bull shark, eh? Bull shark. <laughs> excited to get to the island? Super excited. Play a blanket? So. Blanket play Kind of this nice beach. We might be able to catch some fish for food. Um, Speaking of fish, let's go see what the boys are up to. Catch any fish? Rods are out, lures are in the water. There's no fish around, I guess. I blame commercial fishing. That's the problem. Okay, yeah, we'll do a nice wide berth. Exactly. Cruise in there. We'll get the head still in soon and then we'll spin around into the wind, drop the main, and then find a spot for the afternoon. Enjoy the build your line. You just check down there. Because we haven't sealed. This is the, the tech on the side of the boat. Oh, it's yeah. not sealed yet, so it's still leaking. We have to fix it. So it's all the, the rain and everything like dripping down the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it just needs to be empty, I guess. Check this guys. Taking on water or what? Does it taste salty? Did you taste it? Can I just get uh, something to empty this? It's not pumping out though. Maybe something is stuck in the beach. Just shake the pump and there's a little air bubble in it because we're rolling around so much. Mm. So it's just spinning air. Crisis averted. Done. So we're currently trying to find a spot right now. Sun's out. We're ready to barbecue. It's gonna be sick. Let you go. But have you really gone? Anchor. I'm going to tie a stand too to one of these trees. Seven feet for last. What are we waiting on? I keep your blood on my show. Let it run. I worship the ground you're on. Playa Blanca in the Costa Arriba of Panama. What's an interesting fact about this? Well, I'll say. I've only gotten drunk here one time before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you lucky oh, bastard. Lucky. <laughs> Check in. These are the the Turn it down. 30 minutes. Turn her over. 30 minutes. What's going on, man? Oh. Paddleboard. 15 psi is too much. Cheers. Cheers. Woo! back on parlay after spending the entire day at the beach. Just re-anchored the boat right in the middle of this bay here. Beautiful spot. Might do a little hey beach barbecue. Yeah. Tom's gonna take these derelicts back to their boat.
Jake. We have, to, we have to go to Sunglass. Jake, I'm serious. Can you edit the end of this episode, please? Jake. Ah! I fucking knew it! I knew it! Oh, I Morning, everyone. <laughs> we are heading back to Linton Bay. We had an amazing Christmas, did we? Oh, yeah. We are going back to Linton and we have a little bit of a work list to do today so that we can go to Sandblast tonight. Um, I think we're all pretty excited to get out there and uh, bounce around the islands. So, a bit of preparing to do and then we're out of here. Ooh. Boating life is a little harder. <laughs> they just lose your breakfast and water. Such a tight spot. We're up against the dock there with ears. From that blue cat in the corner. Bad dog. Oh. Oh, oh, Almost made it, but not quite. A lot of sand in that. Sharing some energy because I just feel so good. Feel good. <laughs> Share some of that good energy, Tom. <laughs> So I'm just trying to get really some of my got lots to get. Just went to run the water maker and this gauge exploded inside it and all the shit spurted out of it and now it's leaking. So obviously not something you can test on the hard. This is the high pressure one. <laughs> this uh comes up to like 800 psi. Just seeing if maybe we could just rig up a um, a dive regulator. Without the water maker, we don't have a supply of water. So we could fill up and head out to Sandblast, but within four or five days, out of water. we'd run out of water. Need a gauge, man. What Need day we are Sunday? Sunday as well. Yeah, so I was Right there. Ugh. We just walked straight over it to get here too. <laughs> Two hours sleep I've had. This is a box of water maker parts from water maker stuff from Mike. And this. I don't even know what he's supplied us with. I seen Dave in my water maker. Ah! <laughs> what? Look, he's purring. I don't know if you can hear. <laughs> oh, Every time I'm coming, he's trying to go inside. And I'm always scared, like, if I leave him inside, he's, he's dead. I want to take him on the boat. I'm gonna hide him in my cabin. <laughs> now I feel like a gauge box. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, oh, oh. Yes! <laughs> no fucking way. Fucking love you, Mike! Woo! Can't believe I didn't even know this was in here. So Mike, let's see what a pro is our water maker sponsor. And when I got my last shipment, shipment from Florida, he said, oh yeah, I threw in a couple of membranes and stuff in there for you um, to upgrade your kit. I was like, oh, thanks. We just opened up the box and he's given us new everything. And this is the part we need right here. What a legend. <laughs> See what a pro, baby. All right, guys, let's see if I can get this thing working before we leave. All 
right, let's see if it works. I've hooked up the DC side, which is the boost pump, which supplies the salt water to the high pressure pump. And then I've hooked up the high pressure pump. This is gonna be running off our inverter, which is running off our lithium batteries. So let's see if this will work. Okay, so we'll start the DC pump. So that's just giving it a bit of boost pressure. That's feeding the high pressure pump. Now we'll turn the high pressure pump on. I'll just bring the pressure up slowly. We'll bring it up to just around 800 PSI. Okay, we're at 800 PSI and we're making 40 gallons per hour. We're filling up that port side tank. So if I run it for an hour, I should put 40 gallons in there. I've got the old got the old panel with the burst gauge. These are all spare parts now, which I, I love having spare parts. So this is just gonna live down there. If I need to change anything out, it's right here. Now if we go to our Victron touchscreen, we can see that our batteries are still at 100%. We're pulling around 1200 watts through our three kilowatt inverter. The two of the solar panels, we've got four sets. So this is two sets of bringing around 900 watts we can pretty safely double that because two of the panels aren't hooked up to this yet so we're actually bringing in more power than the water maker is using right now so freaking happy days this uh, lithium is an absolute game changer wouldn't have dreamt of doing this with our old batteries and we only had a two kilowatt inverter so it wasn't really enough now we've got two three kilowatt inverters and a thousand amp hours of lithium batteries it's it's a lifestyle changer leave it kind of sandblast it's a good night a bit of a breeze but it's coming straight at us so a bit of a tricky spot this is a catamaran very expensive catamaran right behind us so I'm gonna get Ben to hang on to the bow line and just sort of spring ourselves out that way there's also a dock coming right out here with no light on it, so gotta get this right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one of our halyards has come loose from the mainsail. And it's just flapping around, so we've got Tom up there trying to trying to secure it. Over you. 